Hi, I'm Jean Panikiefner, the Director of Sales at Thursby by Identive. This is part two of our 12-part Sabrosa for Android user guide series. In this video, I'll be walking you through installing and getting started with Sabrosa. If you don't know what Sabrosa is, or if you're not sure which app to download, I recommend checking out the first video in this series. A link to that video is available in the description below. Let's get started. Now that you've installed the correct app, you need to attach the correct reader. Sabrosa works with any of the bundled Android readers in our PCard Reader family. We have a sleek, durable case customized for the Samsung Galaxy S7. Or you can use one of two plug-in reader options. We offer both micro USB and USB-C readers. Be careful to choose the correct connector type for your phone or tablet. Before launching the app, connect your reader into the charging port and slide in your CAC or PIV card. You should see a prompt asking you to allow Subrosa to use the reader, in which you will tap OK. The Use by Default section normally applies to apps that are looking for one specific device. Subrosa is compatible with many readers, therefore this checkbox does not apply to our app. Checking this box will not prevent the dialog from appearing the next time you connect a reader. The first time you open the app, you'll be prompted to register. This is optional and simply helps us contact you in case of crashes in the app. Occasionally, after a major upgrade to the app, a screen will pop up notifying you of important new features in the app. If you select OK, this message shouldn't return until the next major upgrade. Now you're ready to use Subrosa. Sabrosa is designed to function like any other web browser, so simply type in the URL and you're ready to browse. In the next video, we'll go into further discussion on how to tell if your card reader is being recognized. If you have questions about anything you saw in the video today, or if you would like more information on our products, please feel free to reach out to us by phone or email. We'd be happy to answer your questions. Thank you for your time today. I hope you found this video helpful.